So what happens if you have a, a problem with one of your solar lighting products? Very simple, we're gonna go through some troubleshooting, some basic troubleshooting parameters here, just to help you get through that process. Firstly, is the light switched on? Switched on. Every light fitting in our range has a power button, has an on off switch. Refer to your instruction manual when you open your box and look for the location of your power button, your on off power button. Even if you've done this and you initially set the light up and you've turned it on, we've had instances in um, common applications like around uh, residential housing complexes where some person just happens to go past and turn the light off because it's outside their apartment or outside their unit. Make sure that the switch is in the on position. Second thing is, is your light being exposed to a minimum of six hours direct sunlight every day? It is so crucial. Uh, and the minute um, someone says to us, look, light's only working for an hour a day, some days it's more, some days it's less, it immediately um, alludes us to the fact that it's, um, the issue is exposure to direct sunlight. So be mindful if uh, your light has been installed next to a hedge or a clump of large trees that uh, you know the sun rises in the east, sets in the west, it doesn't matter where you are. And sometimes in the morning when your light has got clear exposure to the sun, it's a cloudy morning. Um, so it's not getting that exposure, but then in the afternoon, it's full sunlight for the next four hours or five hours of the day, but there's shadowing coming from the adjoining building. Those sorts of things will affect the charge rate of the battery, so it's crucial to monitor. Is it charging in the morning? Is it charging in the afternoon? Is there cloud from a, an adjoining building or hedge or large tree that might be affecting the amount of the charge rate? Is your solar panel clean? After a certain amount of months, um, have you cleaned that solar panel? Again, to maximize the amount of charge rate that's coming into um, the, the battery through the solar panel. A dirty solar panel won't work at 100% efficiency. So it's crucial to make sure that your solar panel is clean. Uh, it could be a fallen leaf that's half fallen over um, and, and gotten stuck on the top of your solar panel that will uh, dramatically affect the charge rate and in turn the performance of your light. What mode are you operating your light in? So um, some of the lights in our range have got uh, multiple operating modes, whether it's auto mode, manual mode, sensor mode. Um, it's important to remember what mode you've got your light operating in um, when you talk to us because we'll know uh, based off what uh, mode that it's in um, how the light should be performing. Everything has a rated performance um, uh, output or characteristic. They are um, parameters that are set around uh, perfect um, scenarios, maximum exposure, um, clean solar panel, no clouding, um, no overshadowing. So, you know, if we say something's rated at six to eight hours or eight to 10 hours or 10 to 12 hours, that's in a perfect world, full northern sun exposure, no clouding. So take those things in a mind, in, in, into a, in a mind when you're selecting your light and then when you're calling and saying, it's only running for an hour or two hours, what effects or what different scenarios in your environment are affecting um, the performance of that light um, because it's a massive factor. Switch your light off, it's a key thing. So if you find that your light's only running for one or two hours a day, turn it off. Leave it in the sun for two to three full days. Now, when we say sun, I don't mean outside and overcast day, exposure to daylight, it won't do it. It needs full sun. And by turning it off, what that does is it banks up the, the storage. It, it, it will charge that one day, even if it doesn't charge to 100%, might only charge to 30%. Well, if it's an overcast day, that's all it's gonna do. So by turning the light off and letting it bank that charge, not um, operating over night time, and then the next day banking another 30%, not turning on that night, and then banking another 30% the following day, essentially, you've charged your batteries by 90%. That's a good indicator for us to, to let us know that it is um, the amount of exposure to sunlight that your light's getting, um, or that your solar panel's being exposed to. It's another factor that will affect um, and will easily help our team identify uh, maybe you know, it's just a location or a hedge has gotten bigger or the tree uh, in autumn lost all its leaves but now it's got all, all its leaves back. So it's creating more shadowing and 
uh, filtered sunlight. These are the kinds of things that if you can do the simple um, tests and different scenarios yourself will help our team uh, better troubleshoot and get you to a quicker resolve with either a replacement fitting if it needs it or a new battery or let us know that your, your fitting's two years old and it might be time for a new battery. These are very important things that we need to know. These are basically a couple of little things that you can tell us and some little tests um, that you can do um, so that when you call us it will help us and um, in turn will allow us to help you a lot quicker and get you a resolve one way or another.